Okay, welcome to another how-to video. Today I'm going to show you quickly how to test an alarm input. Historically, this has been quite difficult, so it's very easy now. So if you web browse into the NVR DVR, so I've just got my uh, one in the demo room, adjust this. Wait for it to load. Go into configuration. You can only test the alarm outputs on a web browser. If you go to, wait for my mouse, event, alarm output. You select your output from the rear of the unit or from a camera, an IP camera that's connected to the system. So you've got your IP cameras there or your one to four on the back of the unit. There, you can see manual alarm. So as long as the schedule is done, click that. And now that alarm output, if it's wired, like so if it's an AMPR camera and you're controlling a barrier from the AMPR camera and you wanna check that integration is working correctly because no plates have gone through, then just click manual alarm. That will then trigger the IP cameras uh, relay. And then when you finish, click that. You can't hear that from here, but you can hear the clicking in the NVR. So you can select an IP one. And then stop that. And then copy to is like copy all of the alarm settings from one to another. And then you can actually name them. So if it was, for instance, an AMPR gate, you could just type in a barrier control or whatever. So that's a nice, easy way of controlling the alarm output or testing it at least through the web browser. Um, the only other way of testing an alarm input is if you load up IVMS 4200. Make sure we've done that. Okay, so I've got my IVMS 4200 open. As you can see in here, I've got the device. This is my relevant device here, DVS demo room. So if I go to tool, Alarm output control. You can actually now select that device, so all, so DVS demo room. And there are all my alarm outputs there. So my first four are the four physically on the unit, and then I've got my camera ones there. So I can actually turn these on and off as needed, and then close them. So you can do it, test them through the web browser, or for IMS 4200, you get full control of those outputs as well. So you can manually turn things on and off. Hopefully, that will benefit you. See you next week for the next how-to video. Thanks, guys.